infected with sex. That's how Judge Don Gentry's attorney describes the case against his client. Testimony wrapped up today before the Kentucky Judicial Conduct Commission. David Winter has highlights of allegations of sex, drinking and retaliation in the courthouse as the judge fights to keep her job. That I was absolutely had lots of laps of judgments. I mean, it is it was unacceptable. No question. Judge Gentry contrite before the Judicial Conduct Commission, but fending off allegations she was having sex with an employee. Was he? No, no. That she was drinking in her office. I think three cans in your own garbage can. You the, have any idea about that? Those weren't mine. But she did admit keeping pictures of an employee's private parts in a private photo album on her phone. We were really good friends, best friends, um, and lines were crossed and having a sexual encounter with a lawyer who had cases before her. She started unbutting my pants after Judge Gentry's testimony this morning. Both the attorney for the commission and the defense came back with their closing arguments. We are talking about the professional death penalty in effect. The defense says Judge Gentry did not break any laws. She just had lapses in judgment as a politician and a boss, but remains a good judge. The voters of Kenton County believe in her. Please be very, very reluctant to overturn their will. The attorney assigned to present the case against Judge Gentry did not recommend a punishment, but said she committed serious violations of judicial conduct. This is about a judge who has incredibly embarrassing and troubling allegations made. He doesn't tell you the truth. The defense told us after the hearing, the judge is a changed person and deserves to stay on the bench. Shouldn't the judge's conduct be judged for what she did and not the person she is today? Yes. Uh, it, no, not exactly. Because what we're deciding, what that body is deciding today is what's the future for Don Gentry. Now, the commission expects to release its findings within the next 30 days. David Winter, Local 12 News. Judge Gentry remains on paid administrative leave during the proceedings. She's also facing a potential impeachment panel assembled by the General Assembly.